I'm Talia. Hello, I'm Nerine. Yeah, and we're here today at um, Rails Music and Grace and Rails. And this is just doing my day, guys. It has been fantastic. Really, really cool. So, so I feel like I've never been a part of something where you can actually discuss very so openly in its relation to Welsh identity and then music and how that all comes together as one. Yeah. And not like these two separate beings that just exist like side by side. It's amazing just to get the, the two lenses and look through that one lens and see the picture in front of you. Oh, it's been it's been so amazing. I think I was not even prepared for what I've seen today. There's been so many different styles of art as well. It's been so eclectic and having that, that array of um, different expression points has been really, really nice. And to have, like I said, that space, that open space to communicate and to interact with each other's creations. And I've just been, I'm really, really grateful. For being so here. so do you girls work together anyway? <laughs> no, you've never no, worked we, together we're before? Just, we're just meeting again. That, and that's the beauty of today, you know what I mean? Because we're getting the opportunity to kind of have these conversations with each other and actually like feed into the things that we need as a community. And um, in that we can identify the holes and where we need to water each other um, to kind of grow in what it is that we're trying to create here in uh, Cardiff. And I, I, think, I think today it proved that there is uh, an up and coming um, culture actually taking place, isn't it? That, oh, you know, we're moving away from all that racism and bubbling pop. Absolutely, and music is a massive mm -hmm. part of people's healing as well and, and growth. It is, it really is. And I feel like through music you can ex express an identity that you can't through other things. So I've never felt more at home and more like myself as a person. And the things I've held deep down inside of me um, about my culture, about my identity, being black and being Welsh, I've never felt them expressed better than I have when I'm listening to yeah. other artists, global majority artists especially in Wales and especially through the Welsh language. It's something I've not seen happen in anywhere and this is melting pot talent in South Wales and in Cardiff especially just bubbling and we're coming up to the surface. Oh and yes, it's so important yeah. that there's a platform like this today. Yeah, but you're yes. unique as well because you actually speak the Welsh language whereas we, we don't do that. <laughs> no, no, we're, we're, we're still trying we're, to learn we're still, um, I'm still trying to learn English. No. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I think it's such a beautiful thing because hearing it you can hear the um, the actual soul and the, the love and the heart of Wales. I think Wales is like a land, it has such a story to tell and I think you can actually start to tap into that with the Welsh language. Like I would like to say, I don't really understand Welsh, but I'm starting to learn a little bit, but I can feel it. And um, you know, Wales is somewhere that I'm proud to call my home and like, you know, maybe one day I can put that into my songs and stuff as well. And uh, In Welsh? Yeah, exactly. She helps yeah, you. It, 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 somehow. <laughs> I will say, I feel like, I was speaking to Edie, who will be performing later, and who's also on one of the panels this, this She's evening. She's fantastic. Um, so she speaks Welsh. She, she was one of the first like people of colour that spoke Welsh that I'd ever met. I was like, oh my gosh, there's more of them, it's not just mm. me. And she really has pioneered that in the sense of like Welsh-speaking, yeah. um, alt music. She makes absolutely phenomenal, like crazy experimental music. Loads of different kind of genres here, there, and everywhere. 100%. But I do feel, I was speaking to her earlier, I do think the English language scene especially the mobo scene, black people making music in Wales, in the English language, is far broader. It's a lot stronger place in comparison to the Welsh scene, the Welsh language scene, I think. And I don't know what it is. Maybe a lot of the conversations in the Welsh language about race in music haven't happened yet, because maybe people have been skinny. So there is definitely like this nuance when it comes to Welsh language culture and black identity and ethnicity in music. When is that happening, so isn't it? Like fostering yeah. that space where you can actually feel a part of that. Like I thought that was the really beautiful thing about it today, seeing that representation, seeing women of um, colour and people of colour coming to the stage and, and claiming that as their language and as their expression point, you know, um, I think especially in Wales and being able to be like, well, this is part of my identity and that is a big thing. And I think it is something that you said there is that conversation needs to happen more. Um, and I think we're starting to get to those kind of points because, you know, you know you're just as Welsh as anyone else and I'm, I am, and, uh, yeah. and we should all, like, be open and feel open to, like, embrace and start and, to And feel that we belong that. as well, because, yeah. especially when you're mixed race, you don't belong do to either mean? one, do you? Yeah. You know, I, I myself, my mum is Bayesian, oh. Egyptian, and my father's Italian Maltese, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you, would you fit it's a bolt. It's a bolt. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 
So I feel like that's been quite hard for me sometimes, especially the with the Welsh language. Yeah. You've got the identity thing, and then you also put the Welsh <laughs> thing in. Because a part of me until very recently thought if I spoke about my blackness and my Indian heritage, it's going to erase the Welsh identity in me. I'm not going but to no, be you are both. You are both. This really you are both. Really but you are both. We're all. We're all I Welsh. Have some crisis myself. Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, how do you, how do you understand that? You know what I mean? And talking about it, I genuinely think holding events like this and being seen. Having a voice and making sure you're heard and making the spaces. Because what I've learned as well, getting older, is you can't wait for people to make space for you. Oh, no. Like people, the people are going to be one day. Oh, here you go. We've freed up this for you. You can come into our little club. It's not going to happen. You've got to go in there. You've got to do it yourself. Like, Hi. <laughs> By the I'm way, here. I'm here, and I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> but you know, thank God, times are changing, aren't they? Mm. Yeah. People are getting so much more aware of everything. The times are changing. I mean, when I was younger, it was really hard. But you guys, you're at a different level now. Do, do you understand yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Well, I suppose there's that accessibility, and that's the beautiful thing of this age. I think like everything, if you want it, is accessible. But then that can also become very overwhelming as well. You know what I mean? It's like, whoa, information overload. You know, the internet is all at your fingertips, and absolutely everything, it seems, is. Um, absolutely. But, but a click your world is in your bedroom, isn't it? Or in your pocket. Exactly, but it, that's the truth as well. You can look at it in a, or you can be like, like really excited by that and like that's what today has really felt like I've really been inspired by everything that I've seen and I feel really open I feel really like ready to connect with people ready to share my creations and just like really warmed by the whole experience it's been really wholesome it's been really it's been a lovely day so far yeah. and we've still got a few hours yeah. so, so we're gonna get better and genuine after watching performances and stuff and hosting it I genuinely, I feel like a well-seasoned piece of meat. You know, I feel like I'm just getting marinated. Oh, 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 go. She got a word for She got a word with words. <laughs> Marinate me with that music. Get that end corner back with the sauce on that chicken. Mm. Can we have a bit of Welsh <laughs> next? Right. Teach us so, Welsh. Okay. What are you going to say to us in Welsh? My whisky bach o'n which is I'm going to teach you a bit of Welsh. So my whisky chi shuti weid v'en i So I just said, I'll teach you how to say my name is. So how do you say my name? Ver Anu, 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 Rapping in Welsh, next. Yeah, we'll be. Rapping in a few words. Everyone just join yeah. in. Like, it's no stopping me. Get the tune in the Welsh. Radio <laughs> shows rapping in Welsh. Where do we go? Where do we? Where yeah, do we where end? Where does it stop? Where does it There you go. Yeah. You know. Just keep doing yes. that. So, do you guys listen to Radio Cardiff? to listen to one of my friends shows Reem Mohammed oh Reem so, yeah Reem used to work I worked at the BBC and Reem was an apprentice I think with Horizons I worked a lot with Horizons she's and still with them see, is she yeah I didn't know she was still with Horizons yeah. oh, oh amazing so Reem is like literally a joyous beam of sunshine if you've never met Reem just phenomenal so I've tried to listen to Reem's show but I'm on the radio at the same time as Reem and I've tried to see if there's a listen back catch there is is there and you're going on the website now so when you check you out well, no, she have looked. Yeah. <laughs> I have to, I'm genuinely looked, so I can't find it. You'll have to show me now. I will. <laughs> so right, girls. Well, it's lovely having a chat with you. Yeah. Obviously, we're going to put this on our website, as long as you don't mind, both yeah. of you. And have a great And, and you come and do a show with Dion. Yeah, absolutely. Or Reem, even. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyone. <laughs> <laughs> the more the merrier. Anyway, yeah. thanks for the interview. What's your name again? Miran. And Talia. Oh, we know um, yours. Say it again. Mirain. I say it really fast. I tend to just say Mirain. my name at, at high speed. Mirain. Mir Mirain. 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 So we'll be hearing lots more from these girls, which I'm sure we will. <laughs> it's a very pretty name. Is that what? It is. And then my middle name, Iwerin. Mirain Iwerin. You got me there. I could yeah. never say it's that. Beautiful. We'll Mirain. It's a beautiful name, but can we cut it short like M? Mirain. We call you M. <laughs> You need to say it slowly, like one of those like, um, perfume adverts. Mid-eye, mid-eye. Yeah. I just start whispering it. Mid-eye, mid-eye. Yeah, it's an ASMR, though. ASMR? You girls are killing it. Thanks, girls. <